Hey, my vibrations. Ooh, don't mind my hair. Travel hair. It's V to the I to the B to the mother of five E. Here I am. Mm -mm -mm. I have the 48th verse of change your thoughts, change your life. I got in from the airport a little while ago and I had to get something to eat. And now here I am before I take a nap. 48th verse. Change your thoughts, change your life. Living by decreasing. Learning consists of daily accumulating. The practice of the Tao consists of daily diminishing, decreasing and decreasing until doing nothing. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. True mastery can be gained by letting things go their own way. It cannot be gained by interfering. We live in a society that's society that seems to say the more you amass the more you the more value you possess as a human being here in the 48th verse of the Tao Te Ching you're asked to change the way you look at this notion rather than validating yourself by acquiring more you can reverse this embedded idea of increasing as the criteria for mastering life the benefit of living is the benefit of living by decreasing is seeing your world in a different light one in which, believe it or not, you'll experience a greater sense of completeness. Throughout the years of your formal schooling, you were encouraged to accumulate more of everything being made available to you. More mathematical formulas, rules of grammar, knowledge of ancient and modern history, information about the human body, the inner and outer galaxies, religion, chemical compounds, and so on and so forth, so forth and so, so forth on and on. You amassed a series of transcripts, diplomas, and degrees that summarized your voyage of collecting, gathering, and hoarding evidence of your learning. Lao Tzu suggests re-examining this legacy, for then you can base your level of success on something that appears to be the exact opposite of what you've pursued so far. The Tao asks you to release the external indicators and symbols of your educational status. While learning is about accumulating information and knowledge, the Tao is about wisdom, which involves letting go of information and knowledge and living in harmony with your source. In order to enliven your experience of the Tao and live by its principles, you're, at, you're being asked to practice decreasing your reliance upon things. As, you've already, as I've already mentioned in these pages, everything that you add to your life brings with it an element of imprisonment. Your stuff requires you to insure it and protect it from potential thieves or natural disasters. Furthermore, you need to polish, paint, clean, store, and pack it, as well as move it from place to place. There's infinite wisdom in the ideas that Lao Tzu outlines in this verse of the Tao Te Ching, especially in his view that true mastery can only be gained by freeing yourself of attachments to things and, in fact, downsizing what you already have. When you seriously think about this idea and to change the way you look at accumulation, you realize that you can never truly own anything. Native Americans once had no term for owning land. Today, the modern individual's purchase a piece of property involves an endless cascade of legal maneuvers including title searches, liens, attorney fees, mortgages, tax stamps, and so on. We've created gargantuan hurdles for purchase and ownership of a piece of land that we only really occupy temporarily. Lao Tzu urges you to think of yourself as a guest here rather than proprietor. Cease interfering with the natural world by doing as much as you can as much as you can to decrease your impact on the environment. That is, live in harmony with no thingness state from which you emerged and to which you are destined to ultimately return. Lao Tzu says that you must think about your lifetime, your parentheses in eternity, and an opportunity to be in harmony with the always decreasing Tao by putting into practice these suggestions. Begin to, keep, begin to consciously decrease your need to purchase more things. Keep in mind that the advertising world is designed to convenience you that your happiness is to convince you that your happiness is tied to whatever it's promoting. So instead of buying more, see how many of your accumulated possessions you can recirculate. I guarantee that you'll notice a refreshing feeling of freedom of as your desires 
as your desire diminishes and you let go of your obsession with the material objects you've amassed. As Lao Tzu might say, you came here with no thing and you leave with no thing. So take great pleasure in all that has arrived in your life. There's even greater pleasure to be had in knowing that your ability to live peacefully and happily isn't dependent on how much stuff you add to your life. Living by decreasing is the way of the Tao. Practice seeking joy in the natural world rather than seeking fulfillment in ownership. See the folly of ownership in a universe that's eternally composing and decomposing, just like you are. Its essence, Lao Tzu, in essence, Lao Tzu is saying that what's real never changes because it has no form. So the more you can let things unfold naturally, the more harmoniously you're living the Tao. Enjoy the flowers, clouds, sunsets, storms, stars, mountains, and all the people you encounter. Be with the world in it and adoring it, but not needing to possess it. This is the way of peace. This is the way of the Tao. For more than 500 years, Kabir has been one of India's revered poets. One of his most popular observations sums up this 48th verse of the Tao Te Ching. The fish in the water that is thirsty needs serious professional counseling. Here's do the Tao now. Right this minute, let go of five items that you have in your possession, putting them in circulation so that others might find them. Next, pick something that has some particular value to you and give it away. It's important that it be something you really like for the more attachment you have to an item, the greater the joy you feel as you let it go. This can become a practice of living a day, living a life of daily diminishing. And there you have it, the 48th verse of Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. And if you're wondering about me having the same shirt on from yesterday, I got up at around 3.30 to go to the airport so i just left the clothes that i had on and i'm about to take a nap and i will see you guys later for my 100 day reality challenge wrap up um it is now almost five o'clock in the afternoon and i am tired i think i'm jet lagged because i tried to sleep on that plane and oh my neck but guys well, my vibrations. I will see you guys in the next video. And see you tomorrow for verse number 49. Boom. This is how much we have left. Okay. So, we have 81 verses. We've got this much left. Awesome. See you guys.